like an angel. That's right. Again, they may show up like a hobo, a bum, yes. a homeless person That's right. to see how you're going to respond to that. That's right. They might come in this church and see just how friendly you are, how you greet them or shun them. You just never know what a stranger would look like. It could be an angel. Right. And he says right there, he said, be on the guard. Listen, yes. be not forgetful to entertain, to bless, to be a blessing, to give of your time, your talent, maybe some of your money, to strangers, with wisdom, of course. Because he said some have entertained them unaware. They wasn't even aware that it was an angel. Right. Then they go back to heaven and report, yeah, they're, they're all right. They're doing, they're doing good. Now the other one next to them. <laughs> that's a whole different ball game there, Lord. That's a, that's a tough nut to crack, that one. Lord. But keep working on them. Amen? Oh, we're going to be shocked one day. Ooh, and we also... See here that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, the Bible tells us. So we know now that He still saves like He always. That's why He came in a manger. But He's not in a manger no more. Now He's on the throne. Glory be to God. He still heals. Some of you are healed today because He still heals. Some of you have been delivered because He still delivers. Amen? Hallelujah. And He still forgives sin for those that ask Him. Yes. And He still sets the captives free from guilt and shame that are plagued with such things. And the Bible shows us that in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, just like He anoints you. He anoints you today with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you let Him and you want it, and what comes with that, he says, and uh, Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy Ghost, and with power. Yes. The Holy Ghost represents power. Some of you got the Holy Ghost, but you ain't got no power. Oh, man, that's a whole other sermon. Speak in tongues, but you got no power. Or you believe for someone else and can't believe for yourself sometimes. When you get the Holy Ghost, that comes with the whole package. That means the power, the anointing, to set the captives free, to be a witness, to be as bold as a lion, to go out and preach the gospel, share the good news. That's what comes with the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to give you one more chance. Amen. 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 Some of you look at it. <laughs> That's what comes with the Holy Ghost is power. Yes. Amen. And every one of you have the potential to have that power. Amen. 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 Thank you. Power to do what? To minister. Yes. Amen. The angels have their ministry and they do minister and the people of God have their ministry to minister. To others. That's what yes. that's what this is all about. That's what today is all about. That's what the birth of Christ is all about. That's yes. what the resurrection is all about. Yes. That's what the coming of the Lord is all about. That's what the Holy Ghost yes. is all about. Yes. That's what the anointing is for. It ain't just for us to, to come among ourselves and show off our, our wares <laughs> and our gifts. No, it's to take it outside these four walls. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? And minister to those that are hurting. Minister to those that are still lost. Dying and going to hell in their sins. Without excuses. Can I get an amen? amen? So he says with the Holy Ghost and power. Listen, what did he do with that Holy Ghost and power? It tells you right here. And he went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Hallelujah. That's what you get it for. That's what the power is for. That's what the Holy Ghost is for. To go about doing good. And it blesses my heart. I know heaven smiles. Because the Bible says the angels rejoice over one lost sinner that comes to Christ. That's right. The angels rejoice. You have the ability to make a party happen in heaven. 
The angels rejoice over one lost sinner that maybe you had the privilege of leading to Christ. One of these days, and it's going to be soon, that last person that's supposed to be saved, we don't know who went or where, but when it does happen, that's when the rapture is going to take place. When that last person on planet earth gets saved, and then God's going to release Jesus Christ, and he's going to meet us in the air. Hallelujah. And we'll be raptured up out of this place. And then, ooh, all hell's going to break loose. That's when the great tribulation takes over. And you're going to see in the Word of God, and you're going to know because you'll be in heaven, all those, the activity of those angels are going to be like running rampant, back and forth. Back and forth. Remember in the Bible when Jacob had a vision? Of the angels going up and down a ladder. Yes. From earth to heaven, earth to heaven, just all over the place. Angels everywhere, all over this ladder, going back and forth. They're everywhere. Amen. And for every demon, there's two angels. Because one third of the angels got thrown out of heaven, but the Bible said there was two thirds left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. Amen. So every time an angel or a devil keeps messing with you, you got to remember, just, just realize that there's two angels of God That's right. coming to carry that devil away. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Amen. Who Amen. said so? God said so. Okay. <laughs> End of discussion. No argument. Amen. That's why you got the Holy Ghost and power to bind, to rebuke, and to resist the demons of hell. But you got to do your part. You've got to do the binding. You've got to do the resisting. You've got to do the casting away. And the casting down of imaginations, as the Bible says. Again, in your mind, casting down the imaginations and every high thought, every high thing that tries to exalt itself over the things of God. And therein lies the battle. That's a fight. That is a battle. The Bible talks about us in several places being soldiers of the cross. They, soldiers fight. They do battle. They do warfare. That's how you win. That's how you win. You have to take the authority. You have to know who you are in Christ Jesus. You have to believe it, number one. So I wish I had the power so-and-so had. I wish I had the strength. You do. You just ain't using it. Because what we read earlier, all things are possible with God. And it says other places, all things are possible to them that believe. You've got to believe, church. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what rut you're in. I don't care what you're facing. It don't matter how many demons have been assigned to your case. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You're stronger, every one of you is stronger than you realize. You just have to use that strength. The Bible said even the weak are strong when they yield themselves to the Lord. So God knows that there's times we get weak. But that's why the Bible says you get weak, but don't get weary in well-doing. Amen? Amen? You catch yourself before you get to that point. And how do, you, how do you regroup? How do you get your strength back? How do you survive all the, the fiery darts of the devil? Putting the armor on. Putting the Word of God on. Drinking in the living water. Eating in the manna of heaven, the bread of life. Your spiritual food. There is no shortcuts. And nobody's going to do it for you. Jesus did all he's got to do on Calvary. That's right. And he said, I'm not even going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to send the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he'll teach you all things. You get taught here every week. God knows what else you get, where else you get, how the Word, or radio, TV, whatever. But you get taught here every week how to be a good fighting soldier. How to be a winner and not a loser. Amen. How to be strong and not weak. How to be courageous and not faint-hearted. Every week you get taught these things from the Word of God. But I can lead a horse to water, but I can't make him drink. 
I can give you the Word of God. I can preach the Word of God. I can teach the Word of God. I can encourage you with the Word of God. I can challenge you with the Word of God. But you've got to believe it, receive it, and then respond to it. Amen. Amen. And that's how it works. Amen. And when you stand before Jesus, and I stand before Jesus, we're going to stand there all by ourselves. Yes. Not with your pastor. Not with your husband, your wife, your children. All by yourself. Give it an account for you. And he's going to ask you, what did you do with what I gave you? And there's going to be so many excuses in heaven. We see that all through the Word. Mm -hmm. See that in the New Testament? When he gave one five talents, one two talents, one one talent. You know the story. Mm -hmm. They all had to give an account. And the one that was lazy, the one that didn't maybe half-heartedly believe it, mm -hmm. buried his talent. He said, oh, well, I won't spend it. He thought he was doing good. Uh -huh. I won't spend it, mm -hmm. but I won't use it either. That's like somebody saying, I'm saved, but I'm a secret agent Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell nobody. I'm 007. <laughs> <laughs> it don't fly. It don't fly. Close with me. Stand with me as we close, rather, in a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I hope something was said and done today to challenge you, to let you realize that you're not in the fight alone. Amen. Why the Bible even says pray one for another. Confess your fault one to another that you may be healed. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a part. Angels are doing their job. We should be doing our job for each other and ourselves as well. But if you're slack in any of these areas, now's the time to repent, the Bible says. And maybe somebody watching my internet don't know the Lord is a personal Savior. Let's take this a few moments that we have left to make sure that we're saved. Make sure we're on our way to heaven. Amen. Angels ain't going to help you if you ain't saved. Amen. They are, they are there for those that are joint heir to the throne of God. Amen. Through Christ. Let's pray this prayer together and make sure that we're all where we need to be for Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come in Jesus' name. I come in Jesus' name. I ask you, Lord. I ask you, Lord. Forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Into my life. Into my life. Save my soul. Save my soul. Make me whole. Make me whole. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. For your ministering angels. For the ministering angels. But I thank you more. I thank you more. For your blood. For their blood. That you shed on Calvary. For me. For me. I receive it. I, receive I believe it. it. I believe it. And I'm going to live it. And I'm going In to live Jesus it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give him a praise. Hallelujah.